All right, so I hadn't heard of Selisky Soap until a couple months ago. I saw a review on Little Mac JTV's channel. So I checked out their website and saw that they seem to make really healthy soap and skincare products. What makes Selisky Soaps unique? All ingredients are sourced from naturally occurring sustainable sources, infused with natural essential oils for subtle, allergen-free fragrance. And that is what I'm talking about on my videos when I say I don't like soaps that are too loud and perfumery. Fragrances should be subtle. They shouldn't smell like a perfume, especially not a soap for men. 100% palm oil free, cruelty free, and non-toxic. Entire range is free of sulfates and detergents. Our packaging is 100% recyclable and environmentally friendly. Zero genetically modified ingredients or derivatives carefully handmade and small batches for quality control. All right, so these soaps should be really good. So I thought I'd get some to try out and see if any of you want to get any of their soaps or other products. So I got the bag of scraps. So what is a bag of scraps? Scraps are the byproduct of manufacturing from our blocks. We collect them and put assortments in bags, each weighing at least one pound. At $16 a pound, this is 30% less than buying full-sized bars and a great value while trying multiple scents. And here are a couple reviews for the bag of scraps. Well worth it. Three bars of soaps come out to $18. This bag of scraps definitely contains more than you would get buying three bars and even costs less. You get a nice variety and it's a great way to try something new. This soap comes in various sizes too, which is neat. They're fairly decent size to me. These soaps are luxurious feeling to the skin and leave you feeling good both in and out of the shower. And in another review, great soap, great deal. Just got my bag of scraps and I am blown away by the amount of soap here as well as the quality. There are some samples in here for bars that I feel I must have underestimated because they are incredible, but the scents I definitely haven't tried yet. I'm learning that Selisky quality is unmatched. All right, so you've got my expectations up high now. So I got the bag of scraps here, and this is pretty heavy. It feels like there's more than just a pound in here. So I'm wondering if maybe he added something extra in here. So I'm going to open this up and give each bar the sniff test and let you know how they smell. And then I'm going to pick the bar that I like the best, pause the video, and then go take a shower with it, and come back later and let you know what I think about the bar after I use it in the shower. All right, so let's open it up. Yeah, and just from smelling the package, I can tell it's not perfumery like some of the other companies. Yeah, there's a fragrance, but it's much more subtle. All right, so let's go ahead and get this open. Yeah, it's not perfumery, but the scent is pretty strong. Yeah, this is pretty strong. I think this needs to air out. Yeah. Yep, there's deodorant. I knew there was something extra in here. Go ahead and give this a sniff test. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's very light. So I'll probably make a follow-up review for this deodorant later on. So thanks for adding this to my package. Yeah, this is nice and subtle, so that's really good. I've been planning to do a Dr. Squatch deodorant review and I'll do that and what I'll end up doing is trying some other companies deodorants as well and then comparing them to Dr. Squatch's. So we'll have a deodorant challenge. Alright, so I guess I just pull it all out. Why do I feel like I'm about to make a huge mess on my desk? Bag of scraps all over my desk. So it all fell out into my desk. I got this. I got these four bars and then these two. The interesting thing is none of these are labeled, so I have no idea which scents these are. So I'm going to have to guess. 
So I'm looking here on the website and trying to figure out which soap is which. He's got 11 soaps on his regular menu and then he has five others that are limited edition. And I'm not sure which is which. But most of these bars are a variation of brown. They're either a light beige brown or a little darker brown. But it's hard to tell them apart. All right, so I have one black bar here, and there's only one black bar in the catalog, and it is called Tea Tree and Cedarwood with Activated Charcoal. So I'm assuming that's what this is. So go ahead and give it the sniff test. It smells very natural. I can't really pinpoint or detect an exact scent. It just smells natural. So I'm curious to see how this smells after I lather it up and use it in the shower. I'll probably just go ahead and use this one just because this is the one that I do know which scent it is. And I'm just going to have to guess on all the others. All right, well, I guess I'll smell these. I don't know what this one's called. I'll give it a smell, though. Good thing I have a soap blade now. I recently bought this soap blade off of Amazon, and it works really well. There you go. You can see it. Looks good. I have to try to figure out which scent this is. But the problem is that a lot of the bars are the same color. Alright, so there's two long pieces that have now been cut into six smaller pieces. This is perfect to use as hand soap. Alright, let me pull up the bars in this catalog so you can see. All right, we've got Appalachian Forest, Citrus, Emollient Oatmeal, Lavender, Lemongrass, Patchouli Blend. Then we've got Rosemary and Lavender, Spearmint and Eucalyptus, Tea Tree and Cedarwood with Activated Charcoal. That's the one I just gave this scent test to. Castile Soap, Frankincense and Mirror. So those are the 11 scents that he has in his regular catalog. Now I just need to try to figure out which is which. Now go ahead and give them both the sniff test. Just like the other one, this one just smells very natural. I think I can detect a slight citrus scent yep we have a match this looks like the citrus bar that's on the website so i'm going to assume this is citrus and the scent is decent i'll see how it smells after it's lathered up because it may get a little stronger because right now it's really subtle like there's not much of a scent at all which is okay i'm not complaining because it probably will get a little stronger and it could get to where it's just right after you use it in the shower. But the important thing, this really does smell very natural. All right, let's try this one. This one really doesn't have a scent. I don't know, maybe Appalachian Forest? The scent is very subtle, but there is a slight pine scent, and I believe that's what Appalachian Forest is. Appalachian Forest is a beige shade, and it matches this, so it might be that. So I'm going to guess this is Appalachian Forest, but I don't know for sure. And I would say it's pretty good very very subtle just natural smelling 
So if you like natural, really light scents, I think you'll really like these soaps. <laughs> I just wish I knew for sure which was which. All right, here's another bar. This one's really light. This is probably lemongrass. This has a lemon scent. Okay, I'm looking at lemongrass, and lemongrass looks to have a yellow tint to it. This one doesn't. This one looks pale. This smells like lemon to me, but it doesn't look anything like the visual on the, on the website. Or maybe this is a batch that didn't turn out right. It didn't come out yellow enough, which is why he uh, added it to the bag of scraps. But this definitely smells like lemon. It's pretty good. Again, it's just very natural and it's very subtle. But yeah, I like it though. All right, I'm going to have to use my trusty post-it notes to put a label on the soaps. Great. Now I've forgotten which one this was. Which one did I say this was? Citrus. I'm a genius. Wait, I think this was citrus. I'm confused again. All right, and now trying to figure these out. Mm, I don't like the smell of this one. This one stinks. This smells like turpentine. Leave a comment to enter the giveaway for this turpentine soap. <laughs> Ugh, gross. I think I'm going to scrap these scraps. Get a box here to keep some of these soaps in. All right, so now I have the fun task of trying to figure out these. They all look the same. Yeah, they probably are mostly the same. This smells citrusy. This smells like lemon. So maybe this one's lemongrass. It's pretty good. Put this one away in my box. Same thing. So I guess you don't get much variety in the bag of scraps. I had been hoping to get a sample of every bar so I would know what they all smelled like. But oh well. You do get a lot of soap here, just not much variety, but this is a ton of soap for $16. Same thing. Ugh, this one's different, this one stinks. Next up, probably the same thing. No, this one smells different, this one smells better. I like the way this one smells. Now I just need to figure out which one this is. Maybe this is lavender? Usually lavender bars have a purple colorant. Obviously he didn't put any color in this, so it's just a really pale beige. Actually, no, I don't think this is lavender, but I can't figure it out. There's rosemary and lavender, and then there's spearmint and eucalyptus. They both look the same. They both look like this one. I don't think this one's it. And then there's the Castile soap that also looks like this. So, yeah, I don't know. I think this one smells decent, though. I just don't want to get it mixed up with those other stinky ones. All right, now we've got this one. This one looks a little more yellowish. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's decent. It's not bad. I just don't know what it is. All right, these all look the same. Yep, these are the same. This one's a little louder. Is this possibly spearmint and eucalyptus? It looks like it, but it doesn't really smell like spearmint, but I don't know what other soap in this catalog it could be. I am starting to detect a little bit of spearmint in this. And another thing is that these soaps were packed together, so they're rubbing off on each other, so they're not really smelling like their natural scent right now. All right, I got a couple more here. Yep, it's the same one. Okay, this one's different. 
I think this is the lemongrass. This one's pretty good. Yeah, I think this one's the lemongrass, but I'm not sure. But this does smell like lemon. Here's the big bar that I thought was lemongrass. Do these look the same? Yeah, they do look similar. Yeah, they smell basically the same. So I'm thinking this has to be lemongrass. And maybe they were thrown in here because the color in the batches turned out wrong. All right, and I actually have two more. They look just the same. Yeah, I'm not sure which one this is. I wonder if this is lemongrass. It does smell kind of lemony. But it looks different than the other one that I thought was lemongrass. But maybe they're both lemongrass, but they're from separate batches. But this one is pretty good. It does smell citrusy. So what is my takeaway from Saliski soap so far? If you get the bag of scraps, you're going to get a ton of natural soap for $16. The problem is that you may not get much variety and you have no way of knowing which bar is which. But if you don't care about that and you just want good value, definitely get the bag of scraps. So this is how much natural soap I got in the bag of scraps that only cost $16 on his website. And these bars, I can already tell just from touching them and just from smelling them that they are high quality natural ingredients just as advertised. All right, so which one should I shower with? I think I should definitely use one of these bars. The piney one that I think is Appalachian Forest, tea tree, cedar wood, and charcoal. The one I think is lemongrass, or the one I think may be citrus. So out of the bundle, my favorite is the one that I think is lemongrass. So I'm gonna go ahead and shower with that one tonight. And then in the morning, use tea tree, cedar wood, charcoal. And let you know what I think of both of them. Be right back. All right, so this is probably the trickiest review I've done so far. It's two days later and I used the lemongrass bar in the shower and then the next morning I used the cedarwood charcoal bar. So there's been a plot twist. The lemongrass bar isn't actually lemongrass after all. It's lavender. I think. Pretty sure it's lavender. So apparently in the package the lavender bar was up against the lemongrass bar which is this bar I think. And it made the lavender bar smell like lemon. So this morning I went ahead and used the real lemongrass bar in the shower. And the lemongrass bar and the lavender bar are both really good. They both smell natural. They're not loud or perfumery. They do have a scent, but it's nice and subtle. As far as the tea tree charcoal bar, I'm not crazy about the scent. It's okay. It's not bad. It's just not one of my favorites. But as far as performance in the shower goes, I'd say this bar is better than the other two. The charcoal gives it a really dark lather and delivers a deeper clean than your average bar. So I'd say this bar performs better in the shower, but these two smell better, in my opinion. So it's really a matter of preference and what you want from your soap. And then this afternoon, I took another shower to try out the Spearmint Eucalyptus. And this one also has a good scent like the lavender and the lemongrass, but I think I like this one a tad better. So I think this is my favorite scent of the bundle. And they all smell better now that they've been out of the package for a couple days and aired out. Okay, so out of the bag of scraps, there are at least seven different scents. Five of them I was able to identify and two of them I was not. Out of the seven, I liked four of the scents. Lavender, lemongrass, spearmint, and citrus that I haven't tried yet. Two were okay tea tree charcoal and the bar that I guess was Appalachian forest but I could be totally wrong and then one stinky scent that I can't stand I wasn't sure which one this is but I think that it's suede and smoke which is one of the limited edition website exclusive soaps I'm not positive that it's suede and smoke but I don't know what other bar in the catalog it could be this one is the one that smells like turpentine Whatever the scent is, I don't know, but it is not a winner. This one needs to be scrapped from the catalog. But it's not a knock on Saliski soap. I think that every company has at least one stinky soap. I made a video going over my top five stinkiest soaps if you want to check that out. 
And over time, as I review more companies, I'll probably do a new top 10 stinkiest soaps. And this one will definitely be a candidate to make that list. But on a positive note, even though I can't stand the scent of this soap, at least it's not loud and perfumery, and so it didn't upset my stomach at all. It just upset my nose. So overall, what do I think of Salisky soap? Here are the pros and cons. First off, I'd say Salisky probably has the overall healthiest ingredients from any of the soap companies that I've covered so far. All of their soaps smell natural, they're not loud or perfumery, and their soaps are only $6 for a 5 ounce bar opposed to most other companies that are charging $7 to $8. The only real con, I mean aside from the scent of suede and smoke, and it's not even a negative to everyone, but to some it would be, and that is that their soaps don't come across as appealing as a company like Dr. Squatch. Salisky's so catalog has a lot of basic scents and the soaps are not visually appealing or exciting. Whereas Dr. Squatch creates scents that are more imaginative and creative and bars that are more colorful and exciting to the eye. But when they create those more appealing bars, sometimes they have to compromise what an organic soap is and add some ingredients that are not as healthy as what is supposed to be in a natural soap. Whereas Salisky makes no compromise on the quality of the ingredients that go into the soap. There's no shortcuts. Their bars are healthier. They're just not as aesthetically pleasing or as exciting. So it's up to you, the consumer, to decide for yourself what is most important when you're looking for a natural soap. If you're looking for bright colors and stronger fragrances, Salisky probably isn't for you. But if you're looking for more natural scents and the healthiest ingredients, then you should definitely try Salisky for yourself. Just avoid the suede and smoke. So that's about it for this review. If you've tried Salisky, let us know in the comments what you think about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and God bless.